property lackey who you saw in that film, Ian Kinsella, whose shop in central Manchester was looted during the riots, and the Labour MP for Hackley, Diane Abbott. First of all, uh, Ian Kinsella, you had a high-end, hi-fi and television shop. Yes. When you hear the way that those boys were talking in the film, no remorse, what do you think? Um, terrible, to be honest with you. The site is what it is, but uh, those guys basically started off before the rights as they were and they're still the same now. Um, it's whether or not we can control them going forward. Well, exactly what happened uh, when you got to your shop? Uh, when I got to the store, um, I basically, st the store was, was, was destroyed inside and the window was put through. The grill was uh, mangled and I stood at the front of the shop and um, I was approached by numerous uh, people who just looked like those people there, uh, asking could they come into the store um, and take some more stuff whilst I was stood there. Um, obviously I tried to persuade them against it until I was chased off by people who just looked like that. And, and on what basis did they think they were going to come into your store and you wouldn't mind? Because it was free. It was a free night. Everything was free. There was no rules. And what about insurance? They, they thought yeah. that, that you were covered? No, it was a classic thing. You're insured, You're insured mate. You'll be, you'll be okay. I may be insured, but that's, that's and irrelevant. was it terrifying? Because you were, I mean, there's a hundred shops and premises, people like you. Everybody is absolutely disgusted watching that. Well, it, it, it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying, because I had no control over, over this mob that, was, that kept approaching. And Cody, you said yourself in the film that you were down there to be part of the mob. When you got there, you decided not to loot. I dressed, I dressed a certain way for when I left the house as to be, be, to be inconspicuous, to join in with the crowd, yeah. And, I mean, when you hear Ian's story, are you not absolutely ashamed of everybody's actions? I'm, I'm a very proud Mancunian, very proud, um, but... But, but like, people you didn't do, mind seeing shops smash the smithereens? People do what they have to do to survive. Um, and this night was, uh, in like Ian's words, you can take what you want. And it, the, it was a lawless Manchester. The, the police were there, nothing else but to control, to try and maintain what was going on. But you but, but have stick. fought for Queen and Country twice in Afghanistan. You did a tour in Bosnia. Yep. Uh, you've also been a security guard um, for many yeah. different uh, shops in the city, yes, including right. Selfridges. Why don't you turn in those looters? Because I understand, I don't, some people, I can, I, what happened that night, people did off their own backs. Everyone, everyone knows right from wrong and people made their own actions. We, we live in a impoverished society where people do what they have to do to feed themselves, to feed their families and that's the life we live in. But then you hear, you hear people in the film there, your friends, saying it's something to tell the grandkids. I said that. They said that. I said well. that. But you, did you say it in what way? <laughs> I said it in the sense of, there was no, there was no sense, there was a sense of overwhelming power against the authorities and stuff. You, you couldn't be touched and it, it was nice for the, for the people that have got nothing to have that power. What do you think, Ian, when, he's, when um, Cody says it was something to tell the grandkids, that was a night of power? Well, it may be something to tell his grandchildren, but my grandchildren will hear a different story. Um, the, the amount of power that these people had, I agree with Cody, that they had the power. The police were there trying to control them in a, in a very limited way. Um, and it, it was a different kind of riot that they've n never been trained for, quite frankly. Um, which is why they couldn't control it in London, they couldn't control it in Birmingham, or they couldn't control it in Manchester. They couldn't control the, um, f the way that this riot developed and the way that it, it literally evolved in front of them um, because the, they were not there in Manchester to confront the police on an issue. They were there just to cause mayhem and destruction. So as soon as the police turned up, they ran away and did it somewhere else and then the police had to chase them yes. to another area. And, the, and obviously we all know about social media and the role it had to play and so forth. But when you saw people looting in shops, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just a kind of picture of someone looting, there was an owner of that shop, there's people that were of jobs course, in that course, shop, you probably course. knew some of the shopkeepers. It's a double-edged sword for me, like I said, people, people went out that night to take out, to take what they could get, people, people struggle and people do what they've got to do to feed themselves and feed their families and that's the society we're living but in. But I mean, 90%, 99% of the population does that without criminality. But with, with respect Cody, the, um, the people that came into my store, the majority of equipment that was damaged yeah. in my store wasn't taken it was just yeah. smashed there wasn't there wasn't the need to smash a, a speaker to, to feed a family diana but True. people will be horrified to even hear this conversation when people had no remorse whatsoever 
Well, horrified. But I mean, what you saw in Manchester was the mentality of the mob. Mm -hmm. And although that's, you know, a very scary film, let's not pretend this is something new. Before I came out, I was reading about big medieval rights in London. A thousand people smashing everything in their path. Thirteen of them got hanged. Mm -hmm. Maybe you... <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the, the golden rights in, 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 in the 18th century. But that doesn't no, excuse this. No, 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 I'm not saying... I'm saying that there's something about the mentality of the mob. And people, you know, and, and people get fueled by it. It's like football hooligans. I'm not giving you an excuse. But I'm saying you have to understand it, and the mob makes people feel empowered. And periodically, every century even, a city like London will have frightening but, 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 it, So it's not well, new. It not, That's my point. No, well, let's, let's, that, that is history, but let's say right now, yeah. does it, is it not absolutely disgusting that nobody in that film expressed remorse? They don't have any social contract with the society, rightly or wrongly. That's why they don't express remorse. They don't feel they have a stake in the society. That's, that's why they don't express remorse. But let, let's be clear, they are not the whole of the young people in Manchester. They're not even a fraction no. of the young people in Manchester. Well, let's be but clear. They're a pretty destructive yeah. group. Yeah, but there's a danger of demonising all young people, even young people on the state, by seeing a film like that. They, they, they don't have a stake in society. So and what the challenge, can be done? Well, first of all, we have to get win back control of the streets, which we've kind of done in London. It rained, which helped. We've done, come out in the yeah. rain. But secondly, Somehow you have, I mean, Cody's the one to say, what could politicians do to make young men like that think they had any stake in the society? Right, well, right, just from our perspective, right, the, I've grown up in the same society. My mum and dad searched me right from wrong. People make their own decisions come high or high water. Now, we look at the MPs, the people that run the country. Mm. Now, you look at the MP, the, the expenses scandal, mm. right? Now, if, if these people... Of the, if these people that running the country that have a say in society, mm -hmm. right, are cutting corners and doing the taxpayer out of money, how can they point the finger at us that have got nothing that's, that's, and, and belittle us? But I'm do you not, think that's an so argument? What, what no, to be honest, do? I really don't. No, yeah, but Cody, I, I, what should we do? That's wait, 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 let me let answer Ian. Ian is somebody who's suffered I, this. I, I, I really can't take that as an argument. The greatest one in the world, the MPs doing what they did with expenses. Is stealing, what, is, stealing, yeah, look, I, I, stealing, I, I, have, stealing, I have no, I have no objection. And some of the way to deal for it. They, they've gone to jail and suffer for it. But with the greatest one in the world, it doesn't excuse the mob mentality. Unfortunately, the mob mentality took over that city that mm. night. And if it had carried on, Cody, I said this on camera on the night, if, if it hadn't rained the following night, it would have carried on mm. and there would have been well, nothing left about the city. Yeah. There would have been nothing left no, about the city. Cody, just to ask you before we finish. You know, you, you, you know all these people, you talk to them. Could this happen again? Very easily. Now, this was an orchestrated, right? If this was orchestrated, right, places like Selfridges, some, this is an affluent shop, right? Some of the watches, I've worked there, right? Some of these watches worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. So if it was orchestrated, they were the shops that would have gone first. Mm. Now, the police, the police are talking about cutting numbers. The police couldn't maintain that many people. So if it was orchestrated and more people came, the police couldn't do anything about it. But could it. it happen again? Very easily. It, it could, but there was a way of controlling it. And it, is. it, it is to literally, it sounds an old phrase, but read the riot act, but use their media against them to say, look, send these guys a text, send them on Bebo, send them on Facebook, that if you're in the city centre intending to riot, you will then have that's a curfew. Fine. That's fine. That's not strong enough But we've got to people. go beyond that to the whole issue of jobs and education. I mean, that's fine. That will work in the short you, you've term. You've got to do but short the term. long term needs different answers. And I suspect these people, these... Uh, well, I'm talking... We, we've, we've, got no, we've got no prospects. And that's why, we do, that's why people do what they do. Because they've got nothing. And they've got no prospects, no jobs, no nothing. So they struggle. Thank well, you all very much indeed. Well, indeed, one of the solutions the government identified...